I'm telling you, your timing is terrible for the most successful no, no. producer in the it's business. No, no, it's going to be the best interview. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping anyway. Uh, Brian Grazer, quick and dirty. Brian yeah, Grazer, just a couple of the things you produced through the years. Just through the years, yeah. I produced. Uh, I won an Oscar for producing *A Beautiful Mind*. I produced yes. *Apollo 13*. I produced a uh, hip hop musical with em that Eminem was in, of course, Eight called *Eight Mile*. Yeah. I produced *American Gangster*, which I really love. *The Da Vinci Code*. Uh, now the third one is we just shot in Istanbul with Tom Hanks and uh, uh, Ron Howard directing. Um, You're leaving out so many. I, I produced *Empire*. I produced 24 of the TV series, which we're doing again. I produced. Um, Arrested Development, I produced Parenthood, Friday Night Lights. You leave nothing else for anyone. I wrote a book called A Curious you know Mind. A Curious Mind. You don't have a genre. Seller. You don't have a genre. You're all over the place. Yeah. You know? I know. I can't. But a lot, I can't of decide. Okay. a lot of Tom Hanks. A lot of Tom Hanks. A lot of. You're right. Well, I just, you Night Shift. Yeah. Night Shift was the first one. Yes. Right? Night and Shift. then Splash. And then Splash with Madison. Yeah. Splash. Very okay. good. Yeah. All right. All right. He's been making movies and TV shows for 550 years. <laughs> His latest project is called The Bastard Executioner. It premieres tonight on FX. It takes you back in history. Take a long a way back. I'm the knight you sent to his death at the hands of the hoarding Scots. Ventress is sly and brutal. It's only a matter of time and chance before you feel his blade. Where are your men? This is my fight. I have no plan but vengeance. We both know there's nothing more dangerous than a Welshman who has nothing to lose. Death Welcome to Castle Ventress, Executioner. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> so this hasn't even come out yet. No. But there's a lot of buzz about it on social media. I think because of the Sons of Anarchy yeah. connection. Um, I don't know what it is, but you're tapping into something <laughs> here that people are well, excited about. Well, it has a about. soap opera quality to it, a nighttime soap opera quality to it. But it's fully, um, it's fortified by this brilliant creator named Kurt Sutter, who created Sons of Anarchy. He wrote it, he directed it, he's in it. Um, and so that's what our show is. Our show is a epic nighttime soap opera in the 14th century. 14th century. Yeah. You came up with this, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah, well, I had the spark of the idea. So what were you, what were you, you were sitting at a table eating an apple and you came <laughs> up with this? 14th century uh, well, I, well, like you guys, I'm interested in really interesting people. And so, in, I thought to myself, what would be the most morally complex occupation to be an executioner? An executioner. Wow. To be an executioner, because you're ordered by the royal family to, to punish, to torture, to execute, but you're living in the village at the same time. So you're living this real, this du the duality of life in the most uh, interesting way. And, uh, and it's very dynamic. And I just thought it, it's a, a way to sort of encapsulate two worlds that I love, the world of Braveheart and the world Ooh, of Gladiator. Yeah, and quite a cast. A lot of eye candy. Some people we know, some people we'll be meeting for the first time, like the lead. Yeah, the lead, he's a total stud, you know. I mean, he's he is. really, yeah, yeah. We, we went for <laughs> Thank you. We went for a good, good guy. And there's beautiful girls in it because mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of, it lives in that time period. Why the name? Well, Kurt came up with the name. The of bastard, course, of course he did. Yeah. The bastard part, I don't know. I knew, I was calling it executioner prior right. to that. But Kurt is a savant. He's a genius. And he just, he had this snap. And all of a sudden, he was able to create this show in a matter of a week or so. He just rolled it out. And then we sold it. And uh, it's on the air tonight. And you're also behind Empire which has become such a phenomenon. You oh, have to thanks. be so happy about I'm that. I'm so psyched. I mean, I know you asked me, we were in Carnegie Hall this weekend, 2,800 people to see Empire. And it's just like every little twist and turns, they're gasping. It was so cool. This is but what I, you hope for. This is what I hope for. Yeah. But, but Bastard Executioner has kind of the, some of the similar adrenaline hits to, um, it, to Empire. We're right. I, we apologize because it's a shorter interview because of what's okay. happening with the weather. But I want you to leave us with it. One gem of wisdom that we can learn from you. Your grandmother, yeah, four foot ten inches tall, yeah, said to you what? Be curious, stay curious. That's what's going to make you special in life. And and if you want it, only you can get it, right? If you everybody has curiosity, but you can focus on it uh -huh. and you can use it as a superpower yeah. to make your life bigger and more interesting. Okay. In the few minutes that we've spoken, I can tell you, you're living your life that way. So, 
And it, I think it's working. <laughs> I think it is too. I think, I it think is it's too. working for you. The Bastard Executioner premieres tonight at 10 o'clock on FX. Thank you. Ultra fast. Come back and see us again. Okay, well, thank you. Wow. Yeah, speed dating.